Okay, so this is a quick demonstration about how to use the loft and bends command in SolidWorks to create a rectangular to rectangular tr transition as what you see here. So this is what it's going to look like in SolidWorks when we're done. Uh, we're going to just model half of it and then we end up making two pieces, uh, assembling them together to do a weldment and just welding along these two seams to actually form the full transition as you see right here. Okay. So this is how we would do it in SolidWorks. Just come and open up a new part. And on this particular one, we're going to create a new plane. So that's under Features, Reference Geometry, click on Plane. I'm just going to expand my design tree here, reference my top plane, and create a top plane 12 inches from that top plane. So now I've got two planes. So I'll select my top plane, create a sketch on there. And then I'm going to go ahead and sketch this out, and then I'll give you the dimensions. So here's your sketch that you're putting on the top plane. 7 inches tall, 14 inches long, and a center line connecting your points just so you can line it up on the origin and be, be able to fully define it. And so again, this is just half of the transition. So we'll exit that sketch, and now it's time to go and create the one for the top plane. Or, or on plane one. So I'll select plane one, create a sketch on there, and I'll sketch that out and show you what that's going to look like. So here are your dimensions for your um, sketch on the on plane one. It's just going to be a triangle. Uh, each side is going to be 10 inches long and they're perpendicular to each other. And I drew a center line through the origin. And I'll just go ahead and hide sketch one and I'll go ahead and hide this plane just so you can see what you're sketching there on plane one. So that's what it should look like. So exit that sketch. I'll go ahead and show my sketch one again. So I've got these two sketches. Now I'm just going to loft between them. So I go to the sheet metal tab, click on lofted bend. Uh, for manufacturing method, I'm going to use bent. <clears throat> for profiles, I'm just going to select my two sketches. Under fasting options, I use number of bends on my facet value, this is how many bends we're going to have. So on this one, we actually have one, two, three, four bends. So I'll just type four in there, link it to my gauge table. And what we use is a sample table steel, so select it. For this one, I'm just going to use 18 gauge steel. Use the smallest bend radius available. K factor is set. Auto relief is tear. Go ahead and accept it. Hit that green check mark. And there is my transition. I can go ahead and save this. And that's all there is to creating a rectangular to rectangular transition using the lofted bend command in SOLIDWORKS. I hope you enjoyed this video. Next one is going to be round to rectangular. So you can look forward to that one coming up next.